crucible game take out your anger on a squeaker no i'll feel like it's wasted time i'll feel like i'm wasting my time i'll be like oh i could have got it done in the time it took me to play that crucible game or some shit that's why i don't take breaks i don't think breaks are necessary like yeah well i take breaks they're like two minutes three minutes or whatever but man how come that right there doesn't happen every time like i'll just get absolutely beamed by the ads on the right Okay, there we go. Oh my god. I can't ever tell if they're outside the blight or inside the blight. I remember being at the boss on Glassway, right? I remember being at the boss in Glassway, and I didn't get nearly upset whenever I got sniped because I had to go AFK for a second. I literally got sniped through a wall, and I didn't get nearly as upset as I'm getting with this one. Because I, I feel like I should have this done already. Like, that's the problem. I just feel like the, the stuff that I keep getting killed to is dumb. Fuck. that and you have to charge this shit up and the dudes put their shield up all the time like what happened there is a typical scenario with these unstops you'll get ready to stun them they'll put their shield up you won't be able to okay that's the first blight down any first triers kappa Best sharp. What is linear fusion? The linear from Crow. There, there were two GMs that I thought were super easy. The disgraced was ridiculously easy to solo. I think I got it done in like three tries, and then word of nothing, I got done in one try. At this point, I'm getting tilted because I've been to the boss a, like a few times, and I, it's just so tough getting to the boss here. Not because any anything about this takes skill, but because I get killed the bullshit all the time, man. Why wouldn't that hit me through that box? Why wouldn't it? Light, look at light.gg and it can't. Warden is the easiest GM in the game. I don't know, dude. Apparently, this one is. I thought Warden was easy to solo. I, I think that because a, a GM is easy for a squad to do, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's easy for a solo person to do. This is like a case in point of that. The only thing that makes this GM easy is the fact that you can burn, a bo burn the boss down. Whenever you actually have to play out the phases, 
it sucks because I have never seen all the phases for this. Like, literally every time uh, the boss happens, like, he's been burned down, whether it's a normal strike, GM, whatever. And the last phase of the boss is something crazy. You literally have the, a tiny donut platform to stand on. With the boss right in the middle. done like i said i'd rather solo glassway again than solo this one like this is this is pain Like with Warden, if you don't melt the boss, it's pretty easy to come back from. This one is pain to come back from not melting him. Uh, it's almost impossible because what happens is you'll get more ads because you tried to melt this dude um, than you would have if you would have played slow, right? Like, if you play slow and you just take him down, like, you know, a tenth of his health at a time, like a Wither Horde shot at a time, you'll get the ads, like, they'll slowly come. Uh, the problem with the boss on this one is that if you melt them and you don't actually get the kill, you will get so many at you'll get swarmed. So you have to get the kill if you try to melt them. Almost impossible to come back from if you don't. <laughs> I've been had uh, threaded with Vorpal. A what? I want triple tap Vorpal Clown is all right. Yeah, plus the floor will kill you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The floor becomes 100% taking lava. Does it roll with Vorpal? I have no idea. I don't think so. I think the best thing you can get on the this fusion, the only reason I'm using this linear is because it's solar. There's no other option. Uh, I think... I'm gonna say I mean to be fair I could probably not even run like there's a lot of solar dudes here I think there's only three I think there's only three arc dudes the two at the beginning and then this guy okay. I'm backing up Okay, I hate bows, dude. I literally hate bows. This whole season sucks. How would you like to hold down the trigger button all season? You can charge up a fusion or you can charge a bow. I thought the best meta was probably scout rifle hand cannon. Even though I had to run double primary, like I still felt like that shit was better than this. Like two tapping to stun an overload and then anarchying them. Not bad. Not bad. I am glad I, I did solo glassway whenever anarchy wasn't nerfed because now I feel like it'd be kind of pain.
but I still think it'd be kind of fun to do with the new, uh, like, new meta. The problem, the problem with Bungie is they always nerf things, right? Like, sometimes they'll buff stuff, but, like, that's the problem. Whenever they nerf something, like, what takes it, takes its place? Like, right now, you have linear fusions, right? Took the place of, uh, of, like, Anarchy. But the problem is, Anarchy was a dot that you could stick to things and then leave, right? Linear fusions, not only do you have to be there, but you have to charge that shit up. You can't just stick it and peace out. So I don't think that they really replaced Anarchy with anything decent. So now everybody's using Wither Horde, which was always kind of good, but definitely not as good as Anarchy. I could use Anarchy for this. I feel like the, the only place where it wouldn't shine is at the boss. Just let me get to the boss. Let me get to the boss. I'll finish this shit. Div plus uh, particle is stupid right now. Particle is kind of busted though. Yeah, but it's not like whatever the, the grenade launcher thing was last season that allowed you to do damage with any weapon, not just fusion rifles. That's what I'm saying. Like things are weaker. People were like, Particle's busted. No, it's just another damage mod. It's just another damage mod. It's not even as good as the last one. And guess what? The grenade launcher one refilled your weapons, too. It's not busted. It's just, it's just the damage mod of the season. So let's only run Anarchy for four more years? No, I'm okay with them. I'm saying that they don't buff things. They don't buff something to take its place. They Yes, Particle is a damage mod for this season that makes fusions the meta. But they didn't buff fusions. Like, okay, yeah, they did buff fusions, but they didn't, like, buff them enough, in my opinion, to replace Anarchy. Like, I'm using it right now. I've died so many times in, in like places where I've had to charge it up and got pushed by an unstop. Like there's literally a clip from yesterday where I got physics because of it. Whereas if, if I would have had anything else, it would have been fine. I just don't think they buff things enough. I think they nerf things a lot. I don't think they buff things enough is my point. I'd be okay with not having Anarchy if they had something else that was as good. But fusions are not as good as Anarchy used to be. And Wither Horde is definitely not. I don't mind them moving meta around at all. They should move meta around, but like, equal it out, you know? Don't just make things tougher. Like, this whole season is... Everything's busted because you have to charge it up. There's a charge time associated with everything. Even bows you have to hold down. You have to literally pull them. Like, this meta sucks. It's not good. Last season was busted. Okay. 100%. Blinding nades with a, with a damage mod plus anarchy? Dude. And they stun champions, dude. Last season was busted. I'll say that. I will say maybe it was a little bit too OP. But I was okay with Anarchy before last season. I don't think we should run it for four more years. I agree that they should have something different. But man, buff them. Like, look at that. I did 30 damage, 30k damage with that. Anarchy would have done 80k with two, t two tags. And since it was a stun shot, it doesn't even do the actual 30. 
And then I have to charge up my bow and I don't know. It's just, it's annoying. Here we go, here we go. Throw the nade, throw this, throw one of those, finish them. I saw heavy, where'd it go? Am I crazy? All right, gotta check on the kid again. This is just, this is getting rough. Uh, we ran Rat King through this, it was fun, haha. -ha. Yeah, that's what's up, that's what's up. I honestly think sidearms should be buffed. 100%. Like, it'd be cool if there were a sidearm meta. Things like Ruinous. <clears throat> yeah, no, I think a, a sidearm meta would be cool. 100%. It would make you make decisions to get closer and things like that. You don't have to charge them up. Okay, so I don't actually have anything to stun this dude. I saw heavy on my last finisher, but I guess it went into the wall or some shit. Because I don't see it anymore. Like, Particle's nice because of, like, things like Vex. Like, right? Like, you can use it on a primary, then. Um, you can use it, I guess, on your linears. On your regular fusions. Like, yeah, yeah, it's good. But the charge time associated with fusions, I feel like, is what makes them not as powerful as, like, GLs were last season. Especially with the damage mod. I mean, it's... That, that to me, is why I don't think it's busted. Especially for GMs and stuff where you want to instantly stun things. Like, I could use a, a freaking... And there was travel time associated with GL, so, like, I get it. I don't know. Maybe... I, I thought sniper meta was really good, but then they were like, nah, we can't have this. So then they nerfed Izanagi, which Izanagi and Div are like the play for this uh, For this, if you have a three-man and then swords. So they're still good. Even Anarchy's still good. Like, I, I still even think that running Anarchy on this wouldn't be too bad. You could do that, uh, a pulse, and then a, a bow. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. The thing is, the damage on the boss might be a little weird, though. Like, just a little weird. No, 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 that's just my opinion on things. Take it with a grain of salt, right? What do I know? There are a lot of people who love fusions. I personally hate them. So I'm not going to like this meta. 
feel like I feel like I'm gonna squeeze my mouse to death whenever I'm using them. You know, like, do you know the smoke trick at the end here to knock the champs off? No, I have no idea. I thought, I tried smoking myself and then pushing the champs, but that didn't work. Throw a single smoke. Uh, right next, hold on, let me kill this champ first. You're talking about the two champs on the left, right? I would assume. Kill these vandals. Gotta kill the Taken Stain. It's also a pretty boring meta. Like what Dolphin was saying earlier. Like, look at this. This is boring. At least whenever Anarchy was meta, like, you had to push up and, like, stick and, like, you had to do stuff. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see what you're saying. Uh, shouldn't I throw a smoke right next to the box by the unstop? Oh, you're joking. <laughs> you're joking, bro. That actually worked. That's nice because I didn't have a lot of heavy for that unstop anyway. That.
One second, homie. <laughs> Small. Does the champ die of asthma? Probably. No. <laughs> yeah, it definitely eats him off the map. did not want to take the damage. I forget that every time you start... Here's another reason I don't like fusion rifles, guys. Every time you start charging it up like this, it takes you out of your invis. It's not like a bow. Like, you can charge this up and you'll stay invis. No. As soon as you press the button here, you come out of invis. That's why I was getting beamed. Like, fusion suck, dude. Especially for invis hunters. Dead. Ooh, we're close. literally does not stop spamming. Let's go! It's tagged. Took a minute, but we got there. I would have used my super on all those and it does clear them all uh, but I wanted to save it for this dude because I don't have any void weapons
What is nice is you do get time to breathe during the boss until the final phase. You get some time. Oh, there are wind there are blind spot windows during the boss that I don't know what happens. That I just have to assume I'm doing the right thing. Which sucks. Makes me super uncomfortable. I want you to go to the left, lady. Whatever, we'll try it like this. Do pig. I've died to this thing. My very first run. My very first run. I died to this one. Yeeted me into that wall right there. There's two really fast blasts, and then it stops. One, two, and then it stops. Super annoying. Let's go. Oh, okay, yeah, come here. All right, I've died to this dude up here because he likes to hide. See how he's hiding? Normally, he doesn't come out of that. So I would wither horde these guys, and then one time he actually came around the corner and sniped me. Like that. So here we go. Knowing is half the battle. He's cooking. Get back. Okay. That's an emblem. That little pill looking is an emblem. One more champion. with the raid thanks man uh johnny thank you uh how are you doing today man
How was your stream, Naz? We are at the boss. Taken energy is spiking. This is it. It's go time. Oh, been playing Rumble for the past three hours because everything else is trash. Nice. Tire, been awake 24 plus hours. Oh my goodness. Dude, yeah. <laughs> go to sleep, bro. From one grinder to another, uh, that is impressive. But you should get some rest for sure, man. Thanks for the raid. Welcome in if you case came in from Naz's stream. We are about to <sighs> get down with the boss here. All right, well, let's give it a go, guys. That's all we can do. Let's see, I want to be facing the right direction when this thing breaks. It's gonna take one more shot. Uno mas. Because your whole screen goes freaking white. It's something else. See what, the, what his health is at. I want to play for my other, uh, my other dodge here. As long as I have two smokes up, I can take him to the next phase.
Oh my god, dude. That's killed me so many times. Here. I should have learned my lesson. are all down Let's see what his health is at he's almost the third bar we're waiting for cooldowns here comes more ads I think Almost time to burn. Almost time to burn. Okay, so he's below fifty percent. Cheese spot? No, no cheese spot.
Oh, fuck me, dude. That's not good. Oh, my gosh. That was a close one. Please don't take it to next phase. Okay, it didn't. Oh, that was so close, dude. I need my nade back before we go next. And then we uh, we go for it. We go for it from here, boys. You guys ready? Let's go, baby! Let's go! It would explain how organized without Oryx. Easy class. Well, first try. Let's freaking go, baby. Everybody say hi, YouTube. Let's go. Oh, how long did it take? It took a minute for real. Let's freaking go, baby. Okay, so yeah, 50 minutes, dude. Oh, uh, so what, what is crazy about this grandmaster is that. It's really easy to do with a squad of three because you can burn down the boss. But whenever you have to play through every phase, it's actually kind of rough. But hey, we got it done. We burned him down from a little less than a third of his health. And I still had some of my super left too. Let's freaking go, baby. It's done.